Hi everyone, I'm Sandy Hart, Lake County Board Chair, and I'm here to share a few updates from our last September 8th County Board meeting. First and foremost, the County Board took time to recognize some very important dates this month, including the fact that September is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. If you or someone you know has suicidal thoughts, please call 211 and know that you can get the help that you need. We also took time to recognize the efforts of our Lake County's first responders and healthcare professionals who have been working on the front lines every day since March dealing with this pandemic. We are so grateful for their sacrifice. On health news, our Lake County Health Department Executive Director, Mark Pfister, shared that our county numbers are looking better this week, but it's so important that we continue to follow the three W's, wearing a mask, washing your hands, and watching your distance when you get together with others. The health department is still looking to build Lake County's contact tracing workforce to help in our fight against COVID-19. Interested applicants can learn more and apply online at www.lchdcareers.com, www.lchdcareers.com. In other coronavirus-related health news, Lake County Partners provided an update regarding the new rapid COVID-19 tests that are being developed. Abbott Labs will be hiring more than 2,000 workers to manufacture a new rapid test at its Gurney facility. On-the-job training is provided, day and night shifts are available, and no experience is necessary. If you would like to apply, you can contact abbconlabor at abbott.com. That's abbcon labor at abbott.com. To continue the coordination of county and municipal resources and response activity, activities related to coronavirus and COVID-19, the board voted to extend our coronavirus disaster proclamation. I'm proud that the Lake County Board approved a resolution committing Lake County government operations to the goal of attaining net zero greenhouse gas emissions. This resolution commits Lake County to the following. By the year 2030, Lake County government will reduce greenhouse emissions from operations by 50%, achieving a 60% diversion rate of recyclables and organics from our own waste stream. And by the year 2040, we'll procure 100% renewable energy, reducing greenhouse gases by 90% and achieving at least a 90% diversion rate of recyclables and organics. Municipals and townships throughout Lake County are invited and encouraged to join in these efforts to reduce the environmental impact of the operations required to provide public safe service for the people of Lake County. And this resolution is really a natural outgrowth of Lake County's strategic goals, which includes energy conservation, reducing emissions, promoting renewable energy, protecting natural resources, and implementing smart growth strategies. Regarding the census, September 30th is the final day that residents can take part. Thank you to everyone who's already taken part in this important event. By responding to the census, you're ensuring that federal tax dollars are returned to Lake County, and you're helping to fund important services such as healthcare, schools, libraries, road projects, and so much more. Please visit my2020census.gov today and make sure you're counted and represented. And in closing, thank you so much for staying connected to us. You can view all board and committee meetings online at lakecounty.tv and learn more about all of our services at www.lakecountyil.gov. Thank you so much and please stay safe and stay healthy. Take care.